Hi everyone, it's Shawnee back again and tonight I'm going to show you some of my favorite perfumes that I own. And I'm going to just jump right into it and get started, okay? So the first one I have right here is called Innisfree. And this is from a perfume company um, out of Ireland called Fragrance of Ireland. And I bought this about, gosh, eight years ago in San Francisco when um, we were, um, you know, just touring around San Francisco and I forget what store it was in. But, um, hmm, I know it might have been down by where the wharf is, Fisherman's Wharf, and I found, I'm pretty sure I found this little store there. I'm not quite sure, but the smell of this is fabulous. Anyway, I love this cologne. And, um, that cologne right there retails for about $35, and, um, fabulous and like I said it's made by fragrance of Ireland company and let me read you a little bit about what is in that scent the scent right there is um, peach black currant and apricot in conjunction with lemon bergamot and lavender so it's a really pretty scent and the next perfume I have is from Lolia I think that's how you pronounce it it's Wish Eau de Parfume and I got this, my husband got this for me actually when we were in the um, Cosmopolitan um, looking around there in Las Vegas and um, they have a really nice um, uh, beauty uh, store in there and has tons of beauty products, perfumes, hair products, um, body products, um, makeup, everything you can think of. It's beautiful store and um, I picked this up I love the little bees I don't know if you can see that on there it has little bees on the bottom so pretty anyway this smells wonderful too and the notes in that are um, this a burst of Italian bergamot notes of cinnamon and pepper rice flour jasmine and lang lang sheer amber woods and vanilla bean and it's Fabulous, fabulous, let me tell you. Okay, the next perfume I have that I love is the YSL Baby Doll. YSL Baby Doll. Can you guys see that? This is the shape of the bottle. It's kind of a neat, neat, nifty bottle. I love it. It's a different, and um, I like to collect like different kind of perfume bottles, so I really like that. And the price of that, you can find it on the internet, and I just happened to look it up because I can't remember it was so long ago when I got it. So, but you can find it for as low as, um, for one ounce, $28.90. So that's not too bad. But, um, I don't think, um, I think they really, they don't really make this anymore, so you would have to, like, find it on the internet, somebody that, that's, that sells, um, perfumes that aren't out in the in the present you know and so anyway the next one I have is you've all seen it Prada candy love it it's very um, sweet smelling I know everybody's um, done a review on this and they all love it just like me I love it too and um, it has a strong sense of caramel and it's very powdery musky and has a vanilla smell to it and that size this size that I have is not the largest bottle. I think this is the smaller one. Um, but this is 1.7 ounces and it retails for about $80. So, that one's good. The next one I have is another rose scent. It's from Lancome. Tresor Midnight Rose. Let's see, let me try to get this in the... Anyway, it has a cute little flower on it. I thought that was darling. And um, this one smells so good too. Ooh la la, it smells good. So that size is one ounce and that retails for $44. So that's not too bad. $44. I just love the little bottle. It's really cute. 
And the scents on that, what that smells like is, it's a blend, it says it's a blend of raspberry, rose, vanilla, and sensual musk for mischievous femininity. Okay, so that's a good one. I recommend. Well, all these I recommend because I love them all. But anyway, the next one I have, I think this one is my absolute favorite. It's a Dolce & Gabbana Rose The One. And this is the one that I took to Las Vegas with me because I just love it. I love rose scents. And this size bottle is, um, this was the 1.6 ounce and it retails for $77. So this one has pink grapefruit, mandarin zest, black currant buds, white peach, green pear, Egyptian geranium, lily, peony, rose bulgarian, leche, amber, and musk and vanilla. So it has all those wonderful scents in it. Can you see that? It's great. I love it. Okay. And another one I have is, ooh, this one, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Anik Butel, is that how you say it? If anybody knows, um, please correct me so I don't know how to say it. Um, anyway, it's Petite Sherry. Petite Sherry. And the Paris. Okay, and I bought this. This one about, mm, wow, it must have been like 2002 when I bought this. And you can see I don't have that much left. Just a very little bit because I love it so much. But this one is the 3.3 ounce and it retails for $165 because this is the Eau de Parfum. Now they have the, um, Eau de Toilette, um, which is, I think is like um, $100 for this size. But this is wonderful. Uh, wonderful. And the scents in that, it's a, it's a fruity floral scent. It's rich in vanilla, peach, musk, rose, fresh grass, and recalls purity and boldness. Okay. And the next one I have is light blue. And then you all seen Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana is light blue. This is a wonderful scent too. Okay, and that's the very, very small bottle. And that retails for about $30 to $35. And this is my other scent, my rose scent that I absolutely love that just came out. This is the YSL Paris Rose Eau de Toilette. Because this doesn't, this does not come in eau de parfum, and I do not believe. But this is fantabulous, also wonderful, beautiful bottle. So beautiful, and when I wear this, I've got lots and lots of compliments from it. It's great. Try it. They have this at Nordstrom's, and this retails for about ninety-five dollars. So it's totally worth it. Okay. And the very last cologne I have is Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. So cute. The bottle is cute. It's got all these cute little charms on it. But um, when I smelled this in Sephora, I bought this one in Sephora, um, I had to get it. And um, this has notes of, what does it smell like? It's um, kind of fruity and... Um, yeah, I'd say it's a fruity kind of sweet smelling. I don't have the uh, notes on this one, but um, you can go into any Sephora or any one of your department stores and, and give it a try because it smells really good. And the, if you're a collector of bottles, this is really cute. So, okay, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if anybody wants to leave a video response, I hope so. <laughs> so anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.